Cheating is really bad and uh, you don't want to do it. Today's video on getting advice, I know it has been a year since I gave any sort of advice and I'm up most very apologetic and I, I, I apologize, but today's video is incredibly serious. So we all know that cheating is a massive problem on Hypixel Bed Wars and in Minecraft Bed Wars. Do not get those two confused. They are the same, they are practical. But today, I'm gonna be talking about Minecraft cheating and just like cheating in general. And basically, it's pretty bad because like if you cheat and stuff like that, uh, then you have an advantage and it's just not that good. But basically, okay, okay, okay. Cheating is like uh, really bad. So. This video, I'm going to be showing you guys basically how uh, not to become a cheater. Ah! Alright, we uh, I am sensing with my spidey senses that someone is about to break the bed. Let's cover the bed and oh no, what do we do? They could be cheating. That does look like a scaffold bridge. That could be a scaffold bridge. Potential scaffold bridge. Okay, Bruh. so I have pretty much comboed the gray team, but I promise you that was not reach. And I just watched green fall in the void. Haha, <laughs> get nanade. Today, I'm going to be telling you guys how basically not to become a cheater. So basically, if you don't know, cheating is a pretty big issue because if someone cheats on you, you're going to like cheat on them in a way that you might want to start cheating. Now, that was another combo that is very bad. As you can see, I am just completely destroying them. Um, Cheating is bad because if you start cheating be because someone started to cheat on you, then like you're gonna become a, you're gonna start cheating and cheating and hacking is like almost the same thing It's not the same thing, but basically if like someone hacks on you You might start hacking on them and that's not good because that's like learning to not do the right thing and not doing the right thing is a sin Out my way like if you get if, if someone fly hacks on you, you you're more likely to fly hack on them. so cheating is like in that sense Kind of like spreadable. It's kind of like it's kind of like a, a spread, like peanut butter. You got to be really careful because if someone gets their peanut butter on you, <laughs> you you're gonna get the peanut butter on yourself, and that's not that's not good. Because once you get peanut their peanut butter on you, that that is not good. You're gonna become a cheater, and that that is not epic. So. Yeah, don't let the cheaters get like that the peanut butter on you then you'll become a cheater too because it's very spreadable It's kind of like it's kind of like peanut butter Okay, as you can see Incredible s taps and uh, we're gonna break the bed you can be really good at battles like me without cheating You just gotta learn to name it. Okay, so as you can see the the pink team is the only team left So another really bad example of cheating is basically when Technoblade was on his win streak of 1000. Imagine if you were Technoblade and you were gonna get a 1000 win streak, you're about to kill the final player, it's like a final kill, and then he teleports to your bed, annihilates the bed, and then uses infinite reach hacks to basically kill you. You need to always be prepared if there is a cheater and stuff. So I thought I would add this quote from uh, Shakespeare here. Um, it reads, if you cheat on someone who is willing to do anything for you, you Bruh. actually cheated on yourself out of true loyalty. Now, you don't want to become a cheater because cheating is really bad. If you become a cheater, then, then you're just as bad as the cheater. Where is the bed? Where is the bed? Now, what I'm going to do, see, if you're a cheater, you will be using a hacked client and you can't Luna dance if you have a hacked client. And Luna dancing is like the best way to basically be to assert dominance. There you go. As you can see, I have asserted dominance on his bed. He has counteract this with a uh, assert dominance on my bed. This, however, is an illegal move. Like, I've seen hackers, like, their hacks malfunction and they fall in the void. It's much better to just do things legitimately. As you can see, I am going to go kill Pink without literally anything. And I'm going to do it so easily. As you can see, Pink is not even aware that I'm here. And I'm just going to quickly one tap them into the void. That's all that has to be done. As you can see, I have won the game. And he is now he is now crying. Subscribe for a weekly. Uh, Let's go. Yeah.